watching Mental Health with Marcy, and I'm Marcy. In today's video, we are going to ask and answer the age-old question, does makeup help my depression? And I don't think anyone has ever asked this, maybe. No one's ever asked me this, but I'm answering it anyway. Um, and we're gonna do a little get ready with me as I talk about it. And by that, I mean I'm gonna attempt to do makeup this is not a makeup channel. I'm not a makeup expert by any means. And you will surely find out how often I really get to practice my makeup skills, which is not that often. So we've got our trusty Hello Kitty mirror. Has a light on it. Uh, if it turns off in the middle of this, that's because I didn't charge it enough. And then also precariously, um, on my yoga blocks, if you watch my other channel, Yoga with Marcy, they are multi-use um, yoga blocks. So I'm going to do my makeup and let's talk about if it actually helps my depression or not. Where do I start? So I don't do this very often. So I'm like, I pretty much never wear foundation, but I have some. So I guess I'll put it on. So what is this? See, I was like, I, I wear makeup so infrequently. I have all my makeup right here. I couldn't get it in frame because, like, I'm not a professional YouTuber here. That was good. I just dropped it all. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, real, I'm a real professional YouTuber. Let's pick that up now, won't we? Okay. So, anyway, now that we're back here. Okay. So, I've got some foundation. It's loose. Um loose powder foundation and so I try to uh, put it in this little thing and put it on my face but yeah I pretty much never wear makeup uh, only for like special occasions if we have like um, like a family gathering or if I have like a big, a big work presentation. And so I work remotely. And so I'm on video calls a lot, but that doesn't mean I put makeup on for them. It's only for um, like, like not even like regular presentations, but like I put makeup on when I was doing one for like, um, I think it was like, I don't know if there were 700 people on the call, but it was like a bigger group of people. Oh, I don't know, there are still some in here. I just like don't know how to get powder foundation out. This is how it shows you how infrequently I wear this. Um, well, I just got every, and this is also why I don't normally wear like whatever top I'm gonna wear. Um, Cause I get this powder foundation everywhere. Um, but again, I'm, I'm not gonna speak to the quality of products or the application of makeup because I, I don't know what I'm doing. So that's not what we're here to talk about. It's just about um, more like how uh, how it helps or does it help um, with um, mental health concerns. And so yeah, as you can have already heard, oh, now this is a drawer I'm trying to open. It's like right in front of here. Where is it? Oh, see, I don't even know where anything is. Okay, we've got... What do I put on next? See, like I said, I like don't do, I don't do this kind of makeup like ever. So I'm like, how do I even do makeup? Um, but yeah, only for like really special occasions. I think this is my blush brush and this is highlighter. We'll see. Um, but yeah, really only special occasions. And so if I do it more like just as an everyday look, then I definitely don't do any face products. Like I'll just do um, like eyeliner and mascara. So like this, that's why I said I'm like, I don't even know how to do makeup. But we're going to do it today. And we're going to see if it makes me feel better. Um, I would say, in general, I did used to work in an office a long time ago. What, like, almost six years ago now? I don't know if that was enough blush, but I run very pink, so I try not to put too much on. Like, I'm already red. And so I'm already trying to fight that. I do need some good highlighter though. Um, I discovered highlighter, what, maybe like a year ago? And I was like, I just must put it on, like all of it. So I look shiny. Um, 
But yeah, I used to work in an office, and so I wore makeup every single day. Like, maybe not this full of a face, but like, I wore foundation, like, eyeshadow, mascara, eyeliner, the whole nine yards. And like, I can't even imagine doing that anymore now that I work from home. But I feel like I did feel good about myself when I did, you know, get dressed. Because I would like actually have like a business casual outfit on and, um... I'm very bad at talking and doing makeup. This is why you know this will never be a makeup channel, especially because I never wear it. Like this is the one time I'm wearing makeup. Um, but yeah, it did make me feel good about myself, like to kind of be together and go out of the house and that kinds of thing um, when I did that. But working from home, I just have a really different experience with makeup. I guess is it time to put on my, I'm gonna put on loose setting powder, I think, right? I don't know. Like I said, this is like, this shows you how like infrequently I do makeup. If, like I said, if I was going to do it, I would just do eyes. Um, well, that was a lot, a lot of spillage here, but I run really oily. So I need a lot of powder to set my oil down. Not that it like it matters because literally I'm not going anywhere today. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> so this is just like pointless makeup. For no reason but that's fine um but yeah I like I feel like when I was going in the office like it did have a nice like impress like it helped me feel better about myself but I feel like that was more because I was getting dressed and like getting together and like going out and so that's something that working from home I've kind of struggled with because if anybody else works from home you know how it is um where it's like oh, like, this is a novelty thing, like, I can wear pajamas every day, but then, like, you end up wearing pajamas every day, and you're like, wow, I never wear these clothes, actual clothes I have, um, so, yeah, it's, it's a hard balance, um, I've really skewed towards sometimes trying to wear real clothes, but mostly those are just days when I'm actually going to leave the house, um, but pretty much exclusively not wearing makeup. This is, like, a very official technique it's like when I get powder on my eyebrows I'm just like I'll just lick it off that's fine okay we can do eyebrows now so I actually have my eyebrows microbladed and so I don't usually really need to do much to them but for today's sake we'll do make it a little more dramatic okay <clears throat> but yeah I pretty much like never do eyebrows which I will say Probably the best use of money that I've ever spent was microblading my eyebrows because they like look fine pretty much all the time and I never have to do them. So if you're depressed and your eyebrows look like shit like mine used to, um, then microblading might be for you. I don't know. It's just for me, my eyebrows are super sparse. I mean, they still are. They just, uh tattooed stuff on them if you don't know what microblading is they just like put little basically like little tattoo strokes on them it doesn't um at least for me like it doesn't hurt um but I mean it's I would say probably mildly just dis discomfort um but yeah I mean I would say it has helped me when I put makeup on but then on the other side of it sometimes it's just like or we could just not you know like I feel like it's kind of a Oh, I totally missed my face. That's fine. I mean, it was on my face. I just, like, missed my eyebrow. I'm so good at this. Well, again, because I, like, literally never do my eyebrows because they, like, look fine. Fine enough. Um, but, yeah, for me, I feel like it's a mixed bag because I do feel better when I, like, put makeup on. Um, but I also feel like a lot of times it's just not worth the effort um, because I'm just like, or I could just not. And like not spend the time to do it oh mess that up and so yeah for me a lot of most of the time I'm just like who cares I feel like I need more right here again not that like you can even see it because I'm I'm such an expert like beauty um, makeup person now but no I just want to talk about makeup because it really is something that I feel like at certain times in my life, at certain seasons, it does make me feel better about myself, but I feel like it has more to do with 
actually leaving the house than it does um, anything else. Okay. What are we going to do now? Okay, I guess we have to do eye. Oh, wait, no, I was going to do, sometimes I like to do um, a clear brow gel just to kind of set my eyebrows down because sometimes they can be unruly. The few hairs that are left can be unruly. So I like to do that. Okay, so let's pick an eye look. So I pretty much uh, love colored eyeliner. Let's see if I can get them all. How many do I have? Well, I dropped them all. I love colored eyeliner. I have two, four, six, eight, ten, 12 of them. And so, which is like kind of a shame because I like don't wear them, um, but that's okay. And I also have a bunch of eyeshadow, which I like never wear either. Okay, so I guess we should probably do eyeshadow too. Oh, now we have to like coordinate our eyeshadow and our eyeliner because I, if I do makeup, I do bright colors. I do nothing neutral. So like these are the two palettes I have and they're like super bright, if you can see. Um, so what are we thinking today? Maybe some, so I feel like if I did red eyeliner, that would be a lot. A lot of times I love my blue eyeliner. That one's fun, but I feel like it's hard to do with a shadow. A lot of times I don't do a shadow with it so we're gonna try something crazy and we're gonna do um let's do a pink eyeshadow which is not crazy but I usually um I like to do my eyeshadow first and then do my eyeliner I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it but I just do what I want here on this channel and just in general but we are gonna get um this like real bright bright pink shade. Um, I guess I can do, I can just wear black eyeliner, I guess. That's what, I guess I was, that's what my struggle was. It's like, I want to wear bright colored eyeshadow, but then I also want to wear bright colored eyeliner. And so I'm just like, I'm torn. Um, but again, I like rarely, like the eyeshadow palette, like has rarely been open. We're just going to like go all over. Well, yeah, you can see my excellent eyeshadow skills from all of my, um, all of my experience doing this, which again, like, I feel like I used to maybe like, I don't feel like in college, but like I said, when I used to work in the office, I feel like I did like a full makeup look every day, like, and like including lipstick and I literally would wear heels. You would, well, again, you probably, you don't know what I wear normally, but not heels. Um, but I literally like looked so like put together every day. And I feel like that did help and I like I liked doing it and so I just did it for myself um but yeah I can't like I can't even imagine that now but I guess it's also again that dynamic of working from home okay and then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of orange as well this one again not a makeup youtuber here I just like to do um sometimes this corally look um because I have um a coral flower and I have a number of coral tops again I'm not gonna wear them today because uh, I'm uh, not going anywhere it's Sunday I don't like not that that matters like I don't go anywhere any day if I can help it um, but yeah I have like I have a number of coral things in my wardrobe so sometimes I like to do kind of like the pink and the orange but yeah mostly I do like kind of crazy crazy eyeshadow looks when I do it and so, which again, is very rare. So, oh, I got like all kinds of pink. That's fine. Just use your finger, right? I guess normal people would like use concealer, but like, I don't even know. Do I even have concealer? This concealer? Oh, it is. This is concealer. I never use it. I don't know why I have it. I must have bought it for something. Um, okay, that looks beautiful. And I'll do a little bit of orange on the, the outside again because I'm excellent at this um but yeah like does does it actually help me with my depression I mean sometimes but I would say forcing myself to do makeup really isn't the way to go like if I don't feel like it and I just force myself to like get put together like I don't feel better about myself and so it's not to me it's like not worth it in that case um okay 
we're gonna do I think we have to do a black eyeliner I don't think we can do yeah we can't do we can't do a pink we can do a silver I guess but no we're gonna do black we're gonna stick to the basics even though we have all these fun colors um <clears throat> okay well this is I have my trusty q-tips because like when I fuck up which is like always um and I don't think we're gonna attempt like a cat eye we're just gonna do normal because this is already kind of a lot uh of a oh shit I really fucked it up this is going well I wonder if I can fix it you can tell like how much I have it maybe it's just this eyeliner is old how much I have it worn eyeliner and that like I don't know how to do it anymore I think, like I said, I did wear eyeliner, like, semi-recently for a presentation I had for work, but I don't know. It, like, honestly, because it's, like, virtual, like, no one can really tell if you're wearing makeup anyway, so it was kind of, like, a waste of time and makeup, but I just did a little bit. Okay, that looks so beautiful. Our trusty Q-tip. That's why I just like to like put spit all over my face. It's fine. And then trying not to get it all over my face. But yeah, I mean, I would say, I mean, again, take whatever advice at, that you want. I mean, if you feel good about it and like it makes you feel put together, like that's great. But a lot of times for me, it just doesn't, it doesn't help me. Um feel better um, like if I'm already in a bad space like I'm definitely not gonna force myself to that's like not even I'm definitely not gonna force myself to be putting on makeup and everything because it just it just giving myself that grace of like if I feel like it great if I don't also great and so just kind of like letting myself go with whatever kind of feeling and vibe and um amount of motivation that I have um I think works better for me anyway personally I mean again it depends on what kind of job you have like if you're expected to like wear makeup I mean I don't know like what kind of jobs like do people expect you to wear makeup even in like a corporate environment I don't feel like people can be like you have to wear makeup I guess you probably wouldn't wear this makeup look like I would wear this makeup look to the office like this is what I would look like um with all of my like bright pink and orange eyeshadow always love to get some of it up here um but yeah this is what I would wear to the office so like I feel like my like makeup looks are not like to look like I don't know professional it's more just like I like fun colors as you can see from my Hello Kitty spa headband um I don't even know how to put on mascara. I don't know if this mascara is just old or what. Probably because I don't like wear makeup that often. So maybe I need to buy new mascara because it's looking a little sketch. Just a little bit. And by a little, I mean a lot. Okay. Well, that's the best we're going to get. But yeah, I would say what do whatever feels good for you. And if it feels good to put makeup on, great. If it doesn't, then don't do that. Okay, lastly, we have lips. I think I want to go in with this. Is this the coral one? I was like, I feel like I have one of these. This looks a little more corally. I could go in with this, like, bright pink one, um, which I like to wear a lot. I think I'm going to go in with this coral gloss um, just to kind of match the coral look. And it's a little more subtle, this gloss. I do love these glosses. Uh, what are these? Bare Minerals. Um... They don't stay on that well. I mean, because it's like a lip gloss. It's not like a lipstick. But I, I kind of like that they're more subtle. But yeah. I'm literally putting lip gloss on. And then probably as soon as I finish filming this video, I'm just going to wipe it off. I mean, I'll probably like leave the like eye makeup on to like uh, get all over my face um, throughout the day. But, you know, I don't really need lipstick to just like sit at home in my house so what is the final verdict uh does makeup help my depression um sometimes <laughs> there's not really like an end-all be-all um it really 
Like I feel like there's been stretches and times and seasons in my life where going into the office and like getting like all done up and everything does help me feel better about myself. But then there's other times that I just kind of have to lean into the grunge and be like, this is a pajamas kind of day. I mean, I have pajama pants on underneath. I mean, this is literally just a sweatshirt anyway. What does it say? Can you read it? It says mental health matters. Um, this is just a sweatshirt and like pajama pants. So like, I'm not even like dressed up nice. Um, but I feel like it just depends on kind of my mood in that season of my life. Um, but yeah, this is my final makeup look. I don't know if it looks like anything good because it's like far away, the camera, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, I would say really just do whatever feels good for you and kind of lean into, you know, whatever, um, whatever aesthetic you like. So hopefully this was not like the most boring thing you've ever watched. If it was, that's fine. You can let me know. But let me know if you liked this, um, but I will, words, my brain is broken. It must be from all this makeup on my face. Like, I feel like another thing when I wear makeup, I just like look, I feel like I look so different because I never wear makeup. I'm like, I was like, this is a lot for me anyway. But anyway, yeah, let me know if you like this video, um, if you want to see more videos like this or have any other um comments or suggestions around if makeup um, helps you uh, feel better about yourself and that could be getting dressed, going to the office, things like that as well. So thank you so much for watching and stay well my friends.